Okay, this one's kind of a new one for me. I don't do paint work or cosmetic stuff like this, uh, but the owner of this Nintendo wanted me to RGB mod it, and he had custom NES guy paint it. And I just wanted to give a quick look at it. It is very shiny, very nice. Um, the lettering uh, looks like maybe you printed off the logo on paper and then clear coated over it. And my only complaint with this is it looks like he's blown up. Something that he pulled from the internet, and you and it's kind of pixelated in there. I think the uh, the collars could have been done better. You could have went in and filled that with uh, this one solid collar blue, and maybe even tried to match it with the rest. And the only other things that I see is, I mean, I do like this. Uh, I would have rather kept the blue, white, red top to bottom but it's still nice but the only thing I can see is it doesn't look like it's been cleared over and that's right where I go to open the lid I don't hardly ever use this little lip right here so I'm worried about longevity there and also I think these are upside down I think blue should have been on top just to keep with the blue white red theme and I only see like a couple imperfections that bother me there's a big one right here and a few here you know, and there was some kind of, uh, you can kind of see it, that's just like sticky crap, maybe left over from putting that on there, I'm not sure, but one thing I can't pick up very well is it, it, in certain light I can kind of see some blue and red flake in the paint. Yeah, I'm just not going to get it on camera, but I really like it. Uh, I don't know prices for the paint job, but it is worth it if you want a really nice looking front loader. And you'll see on the back here, I pre-cut the holes that I need for the multi-out and stereo switch they come out really nice after paint that just would not look anywhere near that nice if I did it after the paint job very very pleased okay the RGB mod work is done uh, this is a play choice 10 type RGB mod but I just wanted to show how good the multi-out connector came out on the back of this you can see this the uh, stereo and mono audio switch to the left of it I mean <laughs> that is beautiful I mean it looks like it was always meant to be there it is so perfect I mean even the switch hole looks better after it's been painted I'm very impressed with the way it came out. And I have the EverDrive in it because we did not make it power pack compatible. And I will throw up um, Do just some random game zombie hunter. Of course, it's not going to look great on camera. Oh, yeah. Okay, here's a good example of the uh, glitches that the Play Choice PPU will cause. But I mean, you can just tell this thing is very nice video output, as always. So that's all working good. The only other thing that I needed to test was the stereo switch. I normally do 
that just by laying out a couple speakers. Uh, these are hooked to the PVM. And then I can just switch it back and forth and put my face up in there. And I don't think this game actually is stereo or whatever. But anyway, that's uh, the gist of it right there. Get my fingerprints off there before I ship it out. <laughs> but well worth the money if you ask me. That is just gorgeous.